The Italian Gondar Tanks of the Second World War, Battle of East Africa, 1941. What is up there, YouTube? Uh, this is J Man Time, and today I have another video on some homemade or improvised armored fighting vehicles from the Second World War. And today we're going to do some Italian homemade armored fighting vehicles from the fighting in East Africa. And specifically speaking, we're going to be going over the rare Gondar tanks that were used by Italian and Ethiopian forces during the fighting in Ethiopia between August and November of 1941, also known as the Battle of Gondar. During the uh, Gondar Offensive, the British forces, numbering about 22,500, were advancing on their way to Gondar, but to get there, they had to go through the Cold Kabir and Ujafit Pass, which were two major strongholds used by the Italian forces and protected the city of Gondar and were located around Lake Tana, which was the major fresh water supply that neighbors the city of Gondar within the Gondar region, within the Ahama region of Greater Ethiopia. During the Allied invasion of Italian East Africa, the Italians really didn't have that many armored fighting vehicles. In total, the Italians had 124 armored cars of various makes and models, many of them being World War I vintage Lancia armored cars, and they only had about 39 tanks, most of them being Fiat M1139s and Fiat and Saldo L3835 tankets. By the time the, the British-led forces reached the Gondar region, they had already taken over most of Ethiopia and had also captured Italian Somaliland and were on the verge of capturing Italian Eritrea also. So the Battle of Gondar was, was one of the last attempts for the Italians to slow down the British advance and um, capture all of East Africa as a whole. During this time period, the Italians began constructing some homemade armored fighting vehicles, armor, homemade armored trucks and armored cars. But the two most famous vehicles were two homemade armored tanks. These were the Cold Kabir and Ul Chafit tanks, which were constructed in the Gondar region in 1941. Cold Kabir is actually the name of a mountain pass on the Gondar Pass region leading directly to the city of Gondar, which was one of Italy's last strongholds during the Battle of Gondar and during the Battle of Italian East Africa. There were two strongholds, Cold Kabir and Ujafet, were both mountain passes that surrounded the Lake Tana region and Lake Tana itself, which was the main fresh water supply for the region of Gondar. The first tank on the list is the Cold Kabir itself. The Cold Kabir was an improvised tractor tank that was based on an American Caterpillar D6 tractor. This vehicle here had a main armament of two 8mm Italian Fiat M35 medium machine guns. Its armor thickness was anywhere from 8 to 20 millimeters, and this vehicle had some pretty strange armor. The armor was actually made from the leaf springs of broken down Italian infantry supply trucks. These were trucks that had broken down on the way to the Gondar region. What the Italians did is they actually confiscated the leaf spring suspension and welded it together in order to form an armored box around this Caterpillar D6 tractor, just converting it into an improvised or homemade tractor tank. The speed of this vehicle was 9.3 kilometers per hour or 5.8 miles per hour, and it had a crew of three to four. This vehicle here, along with a few homemade armored cars and some professionally made armored cars, mostly Lancia armored cars, and a few M1139 medium tanks, were all the Italians had left to defend the city of Gondar. And so, between August the 6th and November of 1941, the Italians attempted to halt the Allied invasion of the Gondar region. Now, the Cold Kabir Pass region was only guarded by 2,900 Italian troops, which were led by a man named Augusto Golini, and his small force had to halt a larger British force, British-led force, of over 22,000 troops, and these troops were armed with some of the best tanks and armored cars that the British had at the time. And he only had a few armored fighting vehicles, this Cold Kabir homemade tank being one of them. 
Ultimately, he was overrun and was forced to retreat to the city of Gondor itself. The second tank was the Old Chafit. The Old Chafit was an improvised tractor tank that was actually based that was actually based on an American Caterpillar RD7 tractor. The Uchafet tank had a main armament of a 7 6.5 millimeter Fiat model 1914 medium machine guns. These were World War I vintage machine guns. They were given to the Italian colonial forces in North Africa. The armor thickness was 8 to 12 millimeters, and the vehicle had a speed of 8.8 kilometers per hour, or 5.5 miles per hour, and it had a crew of a 6 to 8. And just like the Cold Caber tank, its armor too was made out of confiscated or salvaged leaf springs and other components taken from abandoned Italian supply trucks that had broken down on the way to the Gondar region. And this one belonged to the 25th East African Brigade, which was under the command of Mario Gonella. And Gonella had a force of 4,000 Italian and Ethiopian troops. Their job was to defend the Ultra Fit Pass leading to the city of Gondar itself and to the Lake Tana region. Now again, he was also facing a large British force of around 20,000 plus troops on his front line also. And he only had a small number of homemade armored fighting vehicles, this Utrefet tank being one of them. Ultimately, just like the other commander, he too was forced to retreat after being overrun by the more numerous British forces and their more advanced armored fighting vehicles. Ultimately, the British would take over the Gondor region and Italian control of Ethiopia pretty much came to an end towards the end of 1941 with Eritrea being the last stronghold overall, and that was later captured too at the end of 1941. Now, what happened to these two homemade tanks after the Battle of Gondar is unknown. One source states that there was actually more than two, and that there was actually six of these vehicles in total, and that two were only photographed. But I'm actually not sure if that's true or not. But these vehicles seem to have disappeared after the Battle of Gondar. I've actually looked up images of the Cold Kabir or Utrefet Pass. But no, I don't see any images of these vehicles or any uh, vehicles from World War II still existing in that region or in the Lake Tana region. And so there you have it. These were the Italian Bob Simple tanks of Ethiopia used in 1941 during the fall of Italian East Africa in 1941 during the final Battle of Gondar and the battles of the Cold Kabir and Uchafet regions. So what do you all think of these two homemade Italian armored fighting vehicles? Please tell me in the comment section below. And until next time, this was J-Man Time, signing off.